going to be reviewing the LM1875 20 watt audio power amplifier 20 watts into 4 ohms or 8 ohms on a plus and minus 25 volt supply um, and it will provide over 30 watts I verified that however in my circuit um, I'm just I'm just shooting for 20 watts it will provide 30 and we'll see that here Here's how I laid out the amplifiers. I directly soldered the components to the pins, just like you see here. Power wires are, of course, twisted on each amp, just like that. Um, each amplifier section gets the same thing, and they connect at the same point. These are running on a plus and minus supply. Uh, both amps are on these uh, twisted wires, red and black wires. Notice everything's soldered very closely to get the capacitors as close to ground as possible. Okay, so the power wires, so I ran them to the different uh, the plus and minus supplies joined in the middle here and that is going to ground. And uh, let's look at the power I've got on them now. That's minus 20.83, we'll call that 21. There's the positive, 20.77, again about 21 volts. So again, here's the load resistors. I got channel one. I'm looking at channel one right, right now, but I got both channels tied together. Channel one and channel two. These are the other 8 ohm resistors. They usually use these in parallel with this 8 ohm, uh, but you see I have them disconnected now because I'm doing an 8 ohm load test right now. Okay, here's the scope probe, and we'll be looking at channel one. And then we're setting it for one kilohertz. 36.6 volts peak to peak and that equals about 21 watts uh, on 8 ohms. So we'll verify that. Look at the other channel too. Move the scope probe over and we'll look at the other channel here too. There it is across 8 ohms. And again we got duplicate outputs. There's no oscillation in there whatsoever. Looks very clean at 1 kilohertz and uh, so we'll run it up to the limit. Let's do a power calculation. Let's look at that now. So there's 36.6 volts peak to peak. Divide that by two. That equals 18.3 volts peak. Square that. That equals that number. Divide that by eight. There's 41.8 watts peak. Now we divide that by two to get uh, RMS. So there it is. We've more than satisfied 20 watts into four or eight ohms. As we've seen, that's 21 watts, about 21 watts there. RMS. And now let's see. We'll check to see if we can get 30 watts out of it. See what happens. So now we're going to do the, the four ohm load test. And this time I've got this 20 watt eight ohm in, in parallel with this eight ohm here. So two in parallel equal four ohms. So we're going to look at one channel and then the other channel. So right now a scope is looking at this particular channel. For this test we're doing one kilohertz. There it is, 31.8 volts. Now let's look at the other channel. 31.8 volts, exactly the same. So let's do the math. So we want to, again, we're going to go 31.8 volts peak to peak. Divide by two, it's that. We're going to square that, I have to square that. Multiply it times itself. There's that. Now we divide it by four. Wow, we got 63 watts peak. So let's divide that by two to get RMS. Bam, there it is. 31.6 watts. And that says up to 30 watts output. So right here we're seeing 31.6 watts into four ohms load. I'm going to put it together now so we can see what it looks like when it's all together. And so here it is put together now. And uh, this has been running now uh, with the case on for well over an hour. And uh, those resistors are pretty pretty hot. And there's channel one. And we can see on the scope here. And I'll adjust the volume again, volume output. You can see it goes into clipping right about there. So we'll set it for about there. That's a happy medium for both channels. Now I'll change channels the scope. Put it over here to this channel. Again, that's these are 8 ohm resistors, not these are out of circuit. There's the number two channel. 
And again, that's uh, there it is. I'll adjust the volume. It's the same volume, but you can see it clips real nicely. It's, there's no oscillation uh, whatsoever. I highly recommend using this LM1875 uh, with a split supply and not a single supply. Uh, that way you get the full bandwidth and the amp works really well. This is a good amp. As long as it's tamed, as you just saw, uh, as I demonstrated in the circuit, these amps will easily put out uh, 20 watts RMS into 8 ohms and, uh, and 30 watts output power RMS into 4 ohms. They're great amps. The LM1875.